What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to give you a tip to deepen the relationships that you already have. And this is a really easy thing to do. It doesn't take a lot of time and it, it can really, really help you deepen the relationships that you already have. And you really need to do that, okay? You really need to deepen the relationships you already have because that is where the life of your business, the life of you, the life of your family, the life of everything, lives is within your relationships everything is relationships that's why I created the tagline relationships over transactions okay it's as simple as that when you value relationships over transactions meaning that when you talk to someone you're not your intentions aren't to try to close them to try to close the deal but actually to try to listen to them ask the right questions and see what you can do to help them which will lead to the deal and not only will it lead to the deal but it will lead to more deals because they realize that you're a person who cares and you're trying to help you do business differently than most other salespeople and that's what you want you want a business business where people recognize you as not just another salesperson, right? This is how you differentiate yourself. A lot of agents ask me, Ricky, how, how do I differentiate myself? How do I stand out in the crowd? How do I make people notice me? Out of all the agents out there, how do I make people notice me? Well, the first thing is you got to work hard, okay? You have to work hard to contact the most people. What is working hard in real estate, okay, or any kind of sales business? It's working hard to contact the most people. People. Okay, if you're contacting them and then they, they pick up your phone or they see you somewhere, they, that, they, they recognize that action as work. Okay, if they answer the phone, you're calling to check on them, see how they're doing, see if there's anything to do to help. They recognize that you are working, okay? So that is a way to let them know that you're working hard. Call them, ask them how they're doing, see what you can do to help them. Another way to show people you work hard is through your hard work, you're gonna get to eventually some really good results. You can't hide hard work, okay? When you look at results of someone, I can tell tell you based on your results what you were doing six months ago, what you were doing three months ago, what you were doing last week, what you did today. I can ask you questions and I can, I can figure out within a matter of seconds if you were working hard for the past however long, day, week, month, year, I can tell, right? It's not, it's not a secret because the proof is in the pudding, right? And what is the pudding? The results, right? So I don't chase results. I'm not looking for results. What I'm looking for is, is what actions can I take today to push everything in my life to the next level? Someone was asking me today on a podcast, they were like, Ricky, you know, what is your, you know, where do you see yourself? you know, and, and like, what's the goals? And you know, what's the future of Ricky and all this stuff? And my answer was simple. I don't have a future of Ricky. I'm not looking for any big results. I don't know where I can go, right? I know that everything is growing massively right now, okay? But the, the, the point is, is that I'm not focused on that. I'm not focused on where I could be. What I'm focused in is what can I do today to take everything I'm doing in business and in life and in relationships and in my personal life and my family and my daughter, everything, kite surfing, real estate, working out, you know, self-improvement, diet, everything. Am I doing everything that I can do on a daily basis to push everything to another level? That's all that matters to me. When I go to sleep at night, that I do everything I can do to take everything to another level. Same thing with relationships. So before I give you this quick little tip, I do wanna share with you guys that once upon a time, you know, three years ago, when I started YouTube and I started this whole thing, I did a vlog called The Daily Grind, okay? I'm gonna put a link in the description to start back at episode one. We did 80 something episodes, I believe it was. Um, and it was a vlog and so it's really Really interesting to go back in time three years ago it seems like ancient like classic stuff at this point in the world of the internet it's you know three years is like you know a hundred years ago but 
go back and watch some of those videos and watch me grind, okay? Watch me work hard, watch me doing the things behind the scenes, watch me making the calls, watch me doing the emails, watch me having the meetings, okay? Then those are some really good episodes. So I know a lot of you new subscribers probably haven't even seen an episode of The Daily Grind, so I'm gonna put a link in the description for the playlist to go back and watch the first one. You can binge watch it if you want to, and let me know what you think about it. Okay, so here's the tip right here, okay? Every morning when you wake up, all right, every morning when you wake up, I wake up at 4.30, you know, I do my thing, answer my DMs, I, I work out, I do all that stuff. After I work out, okay, after I work out, I normally come in and I get my dogs and I walk my dogs. So what I've been doing here lately is I've been texting five people. By this time, it is about 6.15, no, 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 it's about 6.45ish. Okay, this is about 6.30 to 6.45 range, something like that. So I'm gonna text five people during that time. Okay, just say, hey, hope, you're having, hope you have a good day. Let me know if I can help you. You know, how's it going? Stuff like that. People that are close to me, okay? Friends, family, close friends, close family, close clients. Reach out, let them know on a personal level that you're thinking about them, that you care, that you're wondering about them. If they text you back, you may get into a situation, something you can do to help them. Maybe you meet them for lunch. They're like, hey, you know, hey, let's go have lunch. Or, you know, hey, I'm thinking about buying or selling this property. Or, you know, yeah, I'm doing good, you know, stay in touch or whatever. Okay, whatever. Just communication is king. Relationships are king. And that's what drives this entire bus. Okay, that's what it, that's what drives the entire bus of business is relationships. The ones you create, the ones that you maintain, and the ones that you build a personal brand with. So that's it. That's my tip for the day. I hope you guys get something out of it. I hope you go out and you do five texts every morning for a while. See where it goes. I know it's going to help you with your business because it's already been helping me with not only my business but my life and it makes me feel good that I'm, you know, showing people that I care. You know, anytime you do something like that, it's good for you, it's good for your soul, it's good for your spirit, it's good for everything. And so that's always a good thing. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Hit me on Instagram if you need anything at all, answering all those DMs. And if there's a video that you would like me to make, just comment below. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you have it. We'll talk to you guys on the next video. Let's go!